Hey guys, welcome back to Light Skin Gaming. Welcome to my series, Gaming Career Skills, where I show you guys the skills to become a gamer and make a career out of gaming. What we're gonna be showing you guys in this video is how to add your gameplay to your OBS Streamlabs, how to add overlays to your OBS Streamlabs, and how to add text and browser source overlays to your Streamlabs. So we're gonna be going over that in some detail, showing you guys how to do that properly and make it look professional. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously get to OBS and have your page on the editor page. Before we get started, you're gonna have to understand the difference between sources, your mixer, and your scenes. And these are your scenes over here. So sources are the stuff you actually have on the screen. For example, right now I have my display on here, but I could also have something like my webcam, etc. A webcam overlays all these cool things on here so you guys can actually see what's going on now right now you can't see my webcam but if I slide it up to the top you'll be able to see it so it pretty much comprises of all the components now I can maybe want different components on certain screens so for example right now I might want my webcam here but for maybe a different uh, scene I might want my webcam here and something else over here like a logo or something like that so that's why we have different scenes now different scenes are over here so I can have different scenes so now you can see my face for my light skin gaming channel for example um, this is when I'm just chatting to my viewers and my chat box will appear in the left hand corner over here over here so yeah it just has cool things like that um, the end stream so you can see there's a transition for different things starting the stream you need different scenes for different things and I have different components on each of these things so if we go back to our end game you can see my screen again so these are the scenes which comprise of things in the sources and it's super important to understand that to move on so you want to create a scene over in the left hand corner here and it's very easy you can either take a theme I've which I've shown you guys in my previous video on how to add twitch alerts uh, you can add a theme or you can create your own uh, scene and it's very easy you just click this little plus icon here so you're gonna go to your Streamlabs, click editor then click on this plus icon done deal name the scene uh, new gaming scene Scene. I can't spell, but I'm going to assume that's a full scene. And then you'll have a black screen. There's nothing there. So I'll have to go back, and it's going to have nothing in your sources. Now I'll go back here. So that black screen, what you guys see, shows nothing in the sources. It's actually completely and totally blank here. So it's a black box, and there's nothing in here, and it just says new game scene because that's what we named it. So if we want to add something to that, um, you need to click this add new source button over here now there's multiple ways you can add a new source uh, for example if I wanted to add my gameplay from a PC I can use display capture or game capture both of these work for newer computers display capture will always work but game capture works on newer computers and there's pros and cons to using both of these it really depends on the game you're streaming now Keep in mind, this will help you stream on PC, but if you are on console, most of the time you're going to use a video capture card. So you need to use this video capture device option if you're streaming from YouTube or making videos from YouTube um, or Twitch or whatever. You need to use this if you're using a capture card, either the Elgato, the Avermedia, Media, Blackmagic, etc. Uh, also, if you have a capture card in your PC, you might need to use this option to utilize that Elgato capture card as best as possible. So for our example, I'm just going to use display capture on the new scene. So all I'm going to do is click display capture and then click add new source and click done. And it's going to bring up a screen like this. Now, if it didn't make it the same size as your canvas, there's a problem. But for now, we're simply just going to click right click on here, click transform. So again, I'll do that again. Right click on your new thing, click transform, voila, and click fit to screen. Don't stretch the screen, that's different. So you've done that. And say if you need to move it around, you can just click on it, move it around as much as I want here. I also can, um, I'll just hide that and use this one. Um, I can also delete that. So I have my display capture here. I can also move this around very easily so you can see that I have this here. 
So that's awesome and easy. And you can do this for all the options. You simply just click add. You click the plus button, click add display capture. Now let's add a webcam to this. The same goes, you have to have your webcam plugged into your computer and you can also make sure you've updated the drivers for that web camera. It's super important, believe it or not. And then I use video capture device because you're capturing video. So you're going to click this video capture device. So if you're going to go to your sources and add video capture device. So click add video capture device, then click video, uh, video add source, type add, call it webcam, webcam, right? And then click add new source and then search for your webcam. So for my example, it has the Elgato HD60 there and the webcam. So I'm going to click that webcam and click done. Now, I already have the webcam up and running, so it's not going to run twice, but in theory, this would work 100% easily. All I have to do is go like this, and it should be there. So there's my webcam. So that's what would happen if you went through that process. It's just not working because I have two of them up already. So again, all you have to do to add your webcam is click plus source, add video capture device, add device and then add new source. For me, I just have to click that because that's already there, but add new source and then click your webcam. If your webcam is not working for some reason and it's a black screen and you don't already have another webcam up on there, deactivate it and activate it. If that doesn't work, go to resolution type, change it to default. And then one of the things you can do is take it off default, go to custom and you can change the resolution settings to a lower resolution, probably uh, 720p is probably your best or uh, 1080p depending on your computer and your camera's stats and match output FPS that's super important and video format if it's not working um, some give you the option for example mine you can do uh, different formats so change the formats and every time you change the format activate and deactivate it and it usually fixes your problem quite fast so just keep that in mind as an option alright so I have this thing here and it's a nice overlay whatever looks cool we have to add an overlay on my camera here and as you can see I probably already have one prepped and ready I'll scroll this up to the top here and you guys will see it I have this nice little box here that can be my overlay well how did I get that well first of all I used the um, themes package by nerd or die and it comes with one now that in my opinion is the best way to go about doing that because it's right there it's 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 pre-done for you why are you doing more work and they're nice and sleek looking have basic little clean uh, things to them it looks good um, but say for example that wasn't good enough for you um, you can go ahead and go to hold on let me close all these tabs all right, you can go ahead and go to anything.com. So webcam, webcam overlay, right? And say if you wanted just a PNG, and this isn't the best way to do it. There's so many different ways to do it. But just say you wanted this PNG here. Okay, save image as. Make sure it says PNG, PNG, webcam overlay overlay so all I did is I went to Google and I downloaded a PNG webcam overlay so I simply went to Google typed in webcam overlay PNG and then clicked on any one that was a PNG that didn't have a watermark and copied it now all I have to do now is add click the add source button I'll show you guys one more time right here add source and click add image now see it says PNG is accepted image is right here add source and we'll go right ahead and add new source, browse, and now I have to find the image I just downloaded. And you can see my webcam is there. I click done. And for some reason, it has a white overlay to it, which is a problem. So you have to find a different one. That one's not going to work. So we try again. We'll just find a different one. This is pretty nice. This one looks a lot more promising. Save image as PNG cam same process we'll do it again add image add source browse right here and find this new one now this one's a lot more promising so you can see it doesn't have the background on it so I can simply just take my thing here I'll hide mine so you guys can see what I'm doing here and I can 
take that thing, stretch it out. Now you want to keep the resolution and if you want to hold, keep the ratio of the stretch, you just get it so it has the arrow key on the corner there and then hold the shift and pull. And voila, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. You can you can make, mess around with it till it gets it. Then you click your, your camera here, right? And shrink it. Hold on, let me find my camera. I can shrink it up here and make this a little bit bigger. Let's get this out of here. Get get my webcam. Oof. Oh, that's why. I can get my I have to delete this here. And I know it's not looking like it's super easy, but it really is this easy. It's going to take me two seconds to do this now. Just had my stuff unorganized. And that's a good point. That's something I want to really drive home. Stay organized. <laughs> Don't have your stuff all over the place. It will drive you insane later. Um, the one thing I do like about the OG OBS is you can color code stuff. I don't know if you can do that in this one, but um, you definitely need to learn. All I have to do now is say if I want to move it is I highlight both of these by holding control and clicking both of them and they move together. Okay. Now, once you have it perfectly in place, you guys can lock those in place and voila, I have an overlay over webcam. It's not perfect. It's not pretty, but it gets the point home driven. I don't want to make this video super long. Again, just use the themes package. It makes your life a lot easier. But if you had one that was a PNG, that's the way you do it. And if it was a media source with a green screen background, you would have to go through the media source option. So if it was like a video, like an MP4 with a green screen, and then you have to chroma key it. But that's a huge process that we're not going to get into for this video. So now you want to add text overlays. Now there's different text overlays. There's these ones, which are basic, and that's the ones that you're going to be using. But uh, just know that, like, if you want to add like most recent Dono or anything like that, there's already pre-made ones here. But you can just go over here, and there's events list and stuff like that, and you can go over to your dashboard and get them. But it's very easy just to go in here, add source, add new source. And you can select the font family. You can use Google font, select the font family, change the font size, whatever. You put what it is in here, new sub. Uh, and then you can put like, there's like different codes and stuff you can put in here. Like uh, recent, recent follower, right? There's different codes. That's not one of them. I'm just making one up. And then uh, I can make it all uppercase so I don't have to do it voila voila and then i can go like this done and i'll have text on here somewhere where are you it's up here so there's my text i can drag that underneath my thing it's not the prettiest and i don't know why anyone would really need this in most cases you don't um because there's better prettier ways to make things look but that is it y'all that is how you add your gameplay your webcam and text I feel like I'm missing a third thing that I said I was going to show you guys. Let me look. Uh, audio. So audio is another thing you can add. Um, but most of the time you don't have to add your audio because you have audio over here. And this is going to give you almost everything you need over here. Everything you need will be over here 99% of the time. I hope you guys learned something from the video. And... If you like the video content need to learn more about this stuff, please subscribe. It helps me out so much, leaving a like. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than willing to help you. Um, and yeah, take care, y'all.